Hello Chem Math Learners! Welcome to our YouTube channel, Learn Math Beach. This is the part 2 of 2020 MTOP Reviewer Read 4 Elimination Rounds Math Challenge. Nagtapos tayo sa problem number 5, so dito na tayo ngayon sa problem number 6. Question, what is 1 fourth of 4 sevenths of 70? So, ang ibig sabihin na off sa math ay multiplication. Kaya, 1 fourth times 4 over 7 times 70 ang ibig sabihin ng problem. So, kukunin muna natin ang 4 over 7 times 70. So, 70 over 1 ibig sabihin ng 70. Kaya, 4 over 7, makakancel yung 7 sa denominator at yung 70 dun sa isa. Kaya, yung 70 magiging 10 na lang. Kasi 70 divided by 7 is 10. So, 4 times 10 is 40. So, ang natira na lang, 1 fourth times 40. So, yun na simplify natin. Cancel ang 4 at 40. Kasi 4 divided by 4 is 1. 40 divided by 4 is 10. So 1 times 10 is equivalent to 10. So our final answer is 10. Again, ang inuna natin gawin, 4 sevenths of 70. Magkatapos nun, yung result dun, 1 fourth of 40. So 10 is the final answer. Next problem, please. Problem number 7. Lori has a basket of oranges. Her mother gave her 8 oranges more and her aunt gave her 6 oranges more. Then she gave one half of the oranges to her sister. If Lori gave 18 oranges to her sister, how many oranges did she have at the start? So guys, working backwards tayo. Ang sabi dito, ang kalahati na binigay niya sa sister niya is mayroong 18 oranges. Ibig sabihin, kukunin natin yung kabuuan nun. Ilan yung whole? Bago kalahatiin, ibig sabihin 18 times 2 equals 36. So meron siyang 36 oranges bago siya nagbigay sa sister niya. Ngayon, may nadagdag na binigay ng nanay niya at ng tita niya. Kasi yung tanong, how many oranges did she have at the start? So ibig sabihin, ima-minus lot natin yung, yung binigay sa kanya. So, 36 minus 6 minus 8 is equivalent to 22. So, the final answer is 22 oranges. Again, working backwards lang. Yung 18, tinimes natin sa 2 plus 36 minus 6 minus 8 equals 22. Next problem, please. Problem number 8. Mario has a string of certain length. When 6 meters of string were taken from it, it became 3 fourths its original length. How long was the string at first in meters? So sabi sa problem, nung kumuha siya ng 6 meters sa string o sa tali, it became 3 fourths of its original length. Ibig sabihin guys, yung natira 3 fourth, ang kinuha is 1 fourth. So, ang 1 fourth pa lang yung 6. So, para makuha natin yung kabuang string, ito times natin siya sa 4. Kasi, yung 1 fourth, mayroong 4 na tigwa 1 fourth para mabuo yung isang string. Kasi yung tanong, how long was the string at first? So, ito times lang natin sa 4 yung 6. So, the final answer is 24 meters. No need to convert kasi meters naman talaga siya. Okay? Next problem, please. Problem number 9, the ratio of 3 numbers is 2 is to 3 is to 7. If the sum of the numbers is 360, what is the difference between the largest and the smallest numbers? So again, ang ratio natin is 2 is to 3 is to 7. Para makuha ito, yung sum daw is 360. Lagyan lang natin ng x para nang i-add natin sila, i-equate natin sa 360. Makukuha natin yung base. At yung pinaka-base na yun, yun yung i-multiply natin sa ratio. Okay? So 2x plus 3x plus 7x equals 360. Simplify yung left side of the equation, 12x equals 360. Divide both sides by 12, divided by 12, divided by 12. So cancel yung 12 over 12, ang matitira is x equals 30. So yung 30, ito yung pinaka-base natin. Ito yung multiply natin dun sa ratio. So 30 times 2 is to 3 is to 7, it distribute distributive property, multiplication. 30 times 2 is 60, 30 times 3 is 90, 30 times 7 is 210. So 60 is to 90 is to 210 ang ating pinaka ratio ngayon ang tanong what is the difference between the largest and the smallest numbers so ima minus lang natin ang 210 at ang 60 the 210 minus 60 equals 150 so the final answer is 150 next problem please problem number 10 Therese earns 750 pesos in one day she works five times a week out of her weekly salary, she gives two-thirds to her mother and spends one-fourth for food. How much money will be left with Therese at the end of the week? Sabi sa problem, nagwa-work siya five times a week. 
at each day, 750 pesos ang salary. So, we multiply lang natin ang 750 times 5, which results to 3,750 pesos. So, ngayon, kukunin natin ang 2 third of 3,750 at yung 1 fourth of 3,750 and then i-add natin sila. Kasi sa mother, 2 third. So, 2 third times 3,750 equals 2,500. Samantala, ang 1 fourth naman ng 3,750 is 937.50. So, sa mother, nagbibigay siya ng 2,500 pesos. Tapos, sa food, 937 pesos and 50 centavos ang nagagastos. Ang total nun, 3,437 pesos and 50 centavos. Iyon yung ima minus natin sa 3,750. So, ang final answer natin, 312 pesos and 50 centavos. Kasi ang tanong, how much money will be left with Therese at the end of the week? Okay, so maraming salamat sa panood ng video na ito. Kung nagustuhan mo at nakatulong sa'yo, please like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Learn Math PH. Pakiabangan ang part 3, 4, 5, and so on ng Grade 4 2020 Entrepreneur Elimination Rounds. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel because in our channel, you will find and learn a simple and clear explanation to math lessons and ideas. And also a step-by-step -step solution to math problems and math contests like MTOP. Kaya laging tandaan ang ating outro message, every problem there is and there's always has a solution. So love lots, keep smiling and keep learning. Bye! See you in our next video. Salamat!